likely like a normal distribution because then I would have to give you something more than the average I have to give you standard deviation too. And also I, I, I just told you that we use uh, you know, expansion distributions to model time between occurrence of earthquakes. So time until next earthquake uh, is your random variable x. So x has some exponential distribution with some parameter lambda. How do we find lambda? What information has been given to us? I've been given the expected value of x, so the average amount of time I have to wait. And that, um, I told you, was three months. Okay. So x also is measured in months, so it's, it's x, expected value of x equals three. So I've got one over lambda is three, because my expectation is one over lambda. So I now know that it is exponential one third. And we've been asked to find the probability that uh, after three, but before seven months. probability that x is between 3 and 7. Right, so this is just, uh, oh, I think I wrote the distribution function. So we can integrate, of course, from 3 to 7, our density function, or we can just use our distribution function, uh, which was on my lambda x. So let me just use this. It's just going to be f of 7 minus f of 3. Right? This, that's the probability x is equal to 7 minus the probability x is equal to 3. And then f of 7 is just 1 minus e to the negative lambda, which is 1 third uh, times 7. So minus 1 minus e to the negative 3. And once cancel. <laughs> so for every problem when you have to calculate probabilities, it's up to you whether you want to use whether you only want to memorize the density function and then integrate that. Or if you know the distribution function and you have probabilities like this, you can just write as the difference of these distribution functions at this point. Now, exponential random variables have a property which, uh, which is unique to this uh, distribution. And it's a, it's a really unusual property. It's called the memoryless property. 